Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the seventh episode of the second season of Made in Abyss. And it actually has been quite a while since I've seen the previous episode, so yeah, some things might be a little bit fuzzy memory-wise, but hopefully, hopefully things will come back to me as I as I watch the episode. So let's just jump on in and catch up with and see what the gang is up to. So three, two, one, play. Yeah, that's that is a pretty horrifying sight. Definitely helpful for sure. Okay. Yes, definitely match in there. Yeah, not exactly a fun environment, that's that's for sure. But somebody has to explore it after all. Okay, so it looks like we are getting some focus on them. Well, I mean, okay. So at least, it, like, at least it came back. But uh, yeah, we're we're not leaving. That's that's for sure. Although we, as the audience, you know, knew that. This is our new home, guys. Make the most of it. Yeah, people don't seem super excited about that. Judging by the facial expressions. Opening? Uh, no. The Cradle of Desire. So are we just not going to get an opening in this episode? Yeah, we really are getting focus on this guy, that's great. Right. Letters. <laughs> well, thank you for clearing that up for me. <laughs> yeah. My new shoe would be important. We're counting on you. Okay, that's interesting.
What do we find? It's it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, but it's cute, which is more important. Did I? I want to get a good look at that thing because it looks like yeah, it looks like, like turtle shells. <laughs> kind of what it looks like. I mean, it was just a hat, but it just looks funny. Okay, maybe it actually is a shell. You know, what do I know? Uh, could have sworn somebody said it was in a hat, but I, that's what threw me off. I mean, you you deserve to have a cute pet if you have to live in such a such a horrible place. Yes, <laughs> she jumped on that. Man, could you imagine having to live worrying about the curse? Like, you can't forget about it for even a minute, you know, when you're walking around. It's almost like, you know, to use a real-world equivalent, it's like if there were buried landmines around where you live and you have to kind of remember where they are. Yeah, we really get to see them kind of like making a settlement here. But like the beginnings, it's pretty cool. We're off. Well, that's water, all right, but yeah. I wouldn't be the first one to drink it, though. Uh, yeah. The basics right there. You're not sure about the drinking water, boil it first. And water is the most important thing to secure first. You, as a human, you really can't go long without it. Oof. Down it goes. Are you not feeling well? You look kind of sick. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, that became a little less wholesome. Uh. Keep bringing that up. Curse one born of giant pit, that sounds kind of familiar. Her speaking, the way she speaks makes it kind of hard to fully understand her sometimes, but... I get the gist of it. <laughs> she would never throw you away. I'll be honest, that scene almost got me to tear up a little bit. I got, got pretty close. But hey, they got food. Stuff in her face. <laughs> uh. Oh no! Oh, that was horrible. Uh.
Gotta be some kind of law against eating cute things. Five more minutes, mommy. I don't want to remember that name, but... Okay, she does not look good at all. Uh, looks like she wet herself. Oh, no, okay, worse, okay. And I mean, you touch it, apparently. It just keeps getting worse, wow. Yeah, it's definitely not an isolated incident. I mean, this show is no stranger to body horror and whatnot, but... But yeah, it looks like we're kind of watching the beginning, the beginning of the downtrend here. Uh, becoming a tree? Is, is that what I'm looking at? Uh. Yeah, that's very... I mean, yeah, we, we need water. That's not really optional. thing does look familiar. Nothing should surprise you about this place, honestly. Yeah, I guess it wasn't good enough. It's a real problem. Pseudo water. Remember the first time I've ever seen that word? Pseudo water. Good question. Shape of wishes. Okay. Cradle of desire. Wish granting egg. Okay, as usual, children are what we need. Oh, the hand, the legs, uh... Yeah, that's a... And what do you do? Uh... How does it keep getting worse? Uh, 
Man, just having to watch, knowing you can't do anything to help, it's the worst. I can't even, you know, think as if I chop it off a limb, like, you know, the one situation. I mean, what do we really have to lose, I guess? Uh, the atmosphere of this shot, and we do know this is this has a really big impact on future stuff. Please get better. She's, she sounds better, judging by the voice. This is a hallucination. Uh, but she definitely looks better. Although the hand, it looks... Yeah, the hand looks like that. Oh, it, yeah, it fused into her. <laughs> Almost looks like an artificial heart sort of thing. But she's up and out of bed and, you know, Genki, yeah. Uh... That's what they all say. Definitely true. I mean, this is the kind of situation that's going to get worse and worse. But we do know by the modern time that, you know, Ver Veruko is still okay, appearance wise and stuff. Uh. Definitely changing, but again, she's not really bothered by it. I'm sure she's afraid of like you know what's where this is going. Because if she changed more logically, she'll keep changing. Things will keep happening. And who knows what's gonna end up as as from her perspective. If anything, I assume she'd wish for your happiness. Well, that's a scream for a person, isn't it? I mean, at first I was like a monster. <laughs> that's how bad it was. What am I looking at? Oh, did it... Ha... Ha 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 hatch? Is that even the right word? <laughs> I mean, so much for, yeah, not being able to have a baby. Uh, so that's why I kept being brought up. Uh, uh, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused, I mean... Okay... Uh, yeah, I was about to say, is that gonna... die as well? What kind of torture is this?
Yeah. It was always only a matter of time. I mean, diarrhea in general will dehydrate you anyway. This is definitely giving the show a run for its money for most depressing episode. Do I want to know what this smell's coming from? Uh. The fact that you don't know what you're eating does kind of concern me a little bit. Like, I don't put anything past this show. As far as how dark they're willing to go. But she's out of bed, I mean. What, what does? Is it, though? Does that make it okay? Uh. Oh god, and they end off on that note too. Jesus Christ. Uh. Uh. Well, I'm in a terrible mood now. I mean, I got what I want in the sense of like a whole episode focused on the old expedition, but... Yeah, it's been over a month since I've watched any of this show, and it's it's just as cheery as I remember. Is there any kind of... no. No time for any kind of stinger. A form the wish takes. Yeah, I definitely continue with this wish theme. Okay. Well, that was the seventh episode of the second season of Made in Abyss. Yeah, like I said, we are continuing with this old expedition. We could just see kind of their... This the process of this element, right? They can't really go back. Because, I mean, we already knew that you get low enough, you can't just rocket straight upwards, that will be the end of you. You can't, you can't do that, and, you know, they clearly see that here, so. They know this is, um, where they're gonna take their last breath. This is, this is their home for the rest of their life, basically. Whatever form their life may take. And they pretty much have to make the best of it. Like, very much kind of like, you know, shows where you, like, uh, you're on a boat, you go to an inanimate island, and you have to, you know, Gilligan's Island sort of thing. You have to make a home for yourself there. Find some water source, some food source, some shelter, like, you know, basically the same thing here, uh, essentially. But they have more problems to worry about because unlike a real world, an uninhabited island, there's a lot of supernatural things here that will kill you, right? Not even just obvious things like big old monsters, but less obvious things like pseudo water, right? That has like eggs or something in it and just goes inside of you and it's just, uh, it's just the worst uh, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> people here pretty much knew that this probably wasn't going to be the best place to live. 
But I don't know if they could have imagined just how bad things would get. But, yeah, things got bad. They took in that water, which was a real thing that screwed them over. And they, they can't just not drink water, so they have to just keep drinking the same contaminated water, and things just keep getting worse and worse, and... Yuda... Yudu, I'm just gonna call it Yudu, that's so much easier to remember. Uh, Yudu's gonna be short for Yudu Mui. Uh, Yudu basically became, yeah, the, the child of hope, or whatever they called her. Essentially, gave her the special wish-granting wish relic. Which, uh, you know, I uh, resulted in her just birthing babies over and over again that kept dying. Like, what a... I can't even imagine how the level of dramaticness trauma that would... That, that, that would cause, really, but... You know... Apparently, doing all that did lead to their salvation, right? As messed up as that is. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't really have too much more to say about the episode. I mean, it's just... Depression all around, people being crushed emotionally, physically, the body mutation and stuff, just, uh, uh it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. But, yeah, it's, it's all I really got to say about it, so thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, where's my cursor? Bye-bye.